Back here with some more Arkansas Dynasty. Wanted to thank everybody still supporting this channel. And also, please leave a like. That would definitely help for sure. But we got Florida on the docket here today. And before we get into this game, you can see Max Drew. We're going to head with him as the starter. That can always change, but we're going to stick with Drew. As for the running back position, Braylon Russell, that wear and tear, it's definitely eating him up right now. And I believe in game it probably would get even worse. So I think we're going to bench him for today's game. He will get in no action. I mean, he could get in there in case of injury, but Rodney Hill, Marcellus Swaim are going to be in there today. They will carry the load in this game. Now, this Florida team, three and four, struggling. You still have a solid, a talented quarterback in DJ Lagwell. Way, I think their defense is solid. So I still think this is going to be an interesting game, no doubt about it. But hopefully, we can take care of business here today. And let's get this underway. Florida got the blue helmets on. They look pretty good. I have to say, they look pretty solid. So here we go. First and 10. They will receive the ball first. They'll hand this one off. And that's going to be Webb with the carry picking up around five. Looks like he could have had more, I think, if he would have just continued to the outside there. I still think they need to work on kind of running back vision. And that, you know, really, I think sometimes running backs just make the dumbest moves. This lag way, that pass is going to be incomplete. And that will be a three and out for the Florida offense. As here comes our offense. Going down the field, finding Jordan Anthony for the grab and a first down as Max Drew, who came into the game against Bama, got the game-winning touchdown pass and retakes his uh, starting position. It's just back and forth between him and Singleton. It's just, I don't know. He has played very well this year as he's going to lose the ball, though, this time, and Florida's going to recover. Uh, just as I'm saying, he, he really has played pretty well this season. It's just sometimes these guys disappear, and that is a huge play for this Florida defense. You know, when you're three and four, you're looking for that upset. Obviously, you need a really fast start, and they get a big-time turnover now. As Lagway's going to keep this. He has big-time speed. He's got plenty of room, running room in front of him, but there is a flag on the play. Now, obviously, if this is a block in the back, which it is, that is going to be a spot foul. So it will still be a first down up to the 32 but bring it all the way back instead of being at the nine. So from the pistol, so we'll have to watch out for that all game. Webb up the middle, but Juju Pope is there to bring him down. Pope getting a little bit more playing time here. You know, he's got the speed, he's got that athleticism. See what he can do. As the blitz to the outside, there is Webb with the catch. Breaks off one tackle. Ramsey finally brings him down, but not before another Florida first down. Trying to convert off this turnover. And that is going to be brought down for a stop, and there he is. Just good luck running to the edges with Juju Pope on the field. He has got such speed. Third and 12. Lagway just going to dump it underneath the web, who has the catch. And this time with the Ramsey tackle, he will be short. So they're going to bring on their kicker here. You never know with these angles, obviously. It's only a 32-yarder, but you just never know when it's on the hash. And the kick is up, and it hits the upright, and it's no good. It's, like I said, you just never know, and no good. So the fumble does not cost us. Still a nothing-nothing game. As Drew in the RPO flings this one up, and he's got Jordan Anthony, and he's going to take this one to the house for the touchdown. Wow, what a throw. I mean, RPO, you see the safety step up, and you just... Sling it as far as you can, as quick as you can, and it's on the money to Anthony for the big-time touchdown. He is just having an unreal season. But look at that. I mean, just flings it from the 15 all the way down to around the 40-yard line. That is an insane throw if you really think about it. Just, for, just a flick of the wrist showing the talent there of Max Drew. 7-0 lead. And there is Lagway with the run. There's a guy with a lot of talent as well. So we'll probably see him next year. We'll see with the scheduling. But, yeah, he's got a lot of talent. I still think this Florida team could get back on top. I mean, you, you recruit the state of Florida, which has got to be, I would think, the most talented state maybe in the entire country. You know, maybe that in California. But, I mean, they bring enough talent in. I know it's the SEC. You play tough competition. But, man, I think they have a real chance. You know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this Florida team. It's just sometimes you run into, you're, you're kind of in a stretch where you're still a solid team. But like I said, when you play SEC opponents week after week, 
it's just never easy. As that is going to be, is that Pope? Juju Pope with the tackle strips the ball out. And Ramsey is there to recover. Lagway didn't know really where to go. He tried to step up in the pocket. And it just kind of ran into a little bit of trouble. But what a job, Juju Pope, who, like I said, getting the start today. And man, just runs him down, knocks the ball out. We'll take it, turnover, see if we can take advantage. And Drew is going to keep this one. Drew to the outside, running room, first down. And that is something, yeah, that we have to really do a little bit more with Max Drew. Utilize that ability to, you know, run the ball for sure. As Swain with the carry and really nothing there. Third down and 10. Here comes the blitz from Florida. We're going to the outside. And we got it all day. As Anthony cuts it up, he gets inside the 20. First down, move the chains. You got to find that guy if you're defensively. I'd have, I'd almost double him, honestly. You really have to. Here comes another blitz. We dump it down underneath the Swaim. Swaim cuts it up. He's down to the two. Nice job from Drew. Getting rid of that ball, finding your outlet with that guy just coming right down there on you. As we'll hand off to Swaim, and it has a lineman just coming back at him. So can't really get anything there. I mean, geez, our guard just got destroyed there. Third and goal. Blitz. But an open tie, Washington for the touchdown. Fine, there you go. Once again, quick decision by Drew. Finding that quick throw, quick outlet, and he has it there to tie Washington for the score. We'll take advantage of the fumble, and it's a 14-0 lead. So, so far, everything looking here pretty good at the moment. Still early on here in the second quarter. Here comes this Florida offense. Lagway back to throw, but he has some pressure, and he's going to be brought down. Is that Folkerts who really had the initial pressure, which led him outside, as Samia is going to clean it up. So a third and 15, third and long for this Florida offense. We're going to back up. We're going to make him go underneath. They will go underneath, as that is Justin Logan this time with the stop. Nice one-on-one -on -one open field tackle on a back, and that is a quick Florida possession that leads nowhere but I'll tell you what we really can't get this run game going here today Hill's going to be stopped there for a big loss of five and now we got ourselves a third and 15 look out Drew and he's going to be brought down this Florida front gets through for the sack forces a punt and man look at this field position for this Florida offense now they're going to hand off to Webb. Webb, room to the outside. Webb will get all the way down to the, around the 14-yard line as that was definitely a missed tackle. Should have had him at the line of scrimmage. Could not. And now Florida in business. They got some blocks, but what a tackle there from Singletary. That should have been a touchdown for Brown. Really should have. But a great tackle. They hand to Webb. Up the middle. Breaks a tackle. Has enough for the first down. And now a first and goal here from the three. Florida trying to get on the board. Hand off to Webb. Easy. Could put a Mack truck through that area. Holy moly. And Florida will get on the board here. Get this back within seven. They take advantage of that field position. I mean, punt, just special teams in general for us. Punting and kicking wise. I know we got a freshman punter out there. It's just, uh, we, need, we need to have better kicking for sure. As that's no good. LJ McCray with the sack. And now Florida has momentum on their side. Drew back to throw. Going down the field. It's going to be picked off. Intercepted. Jakeem Jackson with the interception. There is a flag on the play. But I have a feeling this is going to be an offensive holding. That's what it's looking like. And now Florida is in business once again. Had a beat on the outside. Just not the greatest throw. Definitely underthrown. Trying to fit it in there. And here comes Florida starting at the 30. But Lagway, who gets away from the defender, fires it. It's caught. Brown, touchdown. And just like that, we're tied. It looked like Lagway was going to be sacked. And I think was that Singletary. So instead of just kind of knocking the ball away, and, you know, he was right there. For some reason, he decides to go for a Hick attempt, and it's just not even close. Take a look at this. Oh, man. Simmons misses the sack, and yet he goes for the pick. He probably should have just got in front, knocked it down. 
14 apiece in an instant. So we're back to square one in this game. And here we go. Lucas with the reception. That's a first down. And it's started to become this now this Florida front four as that's a quick throw to Anthony has been, you know, if we have to sit back there and throw, I don't know if we, our offensive line can hold up here. We're not really running the ball well at all either. That's Hill with the carry. I mean, he only picked up around three or four yards, but it's just going to be instantly brought back with a holding call. So right now, our offense, I would say, a little bit stagnant. No rhythm right now. First and 19, Drew to throw, looking down the field. Guys are covered, but that's going to be Wilkins. Just enough room, enough spacing to get a catch for 13 yards and help us out. That time, that was solid protection. Gave Drew some time to throw, but not that time. That is another sack here for this Florida team. There is McCray with the sack. And a third and long. They're just going to bring three, and they're going to get heat. Wow. Wow. Right up the middle on a three-man rush. When you drop eight, three-man rush gets pressure, you know you got problems. You got problems right now. And Florida, that's going to fall incomplete. Has a chance to go into halftime with the lead if they can get a drive going here with 111 left, but a third and 10. They're just going to hand the ball off to Drew. Simmons comes up, makes the stop. Nice tackle there. We'll use a timeout. So we got a chance here. All right, two, well, actually down to a single timeout with 50 seconds left as Drew fires. That's Haas with the catch. We'll have enough for the first, so we can probably just hurry this one up here. Clock won't start until that ball is spotted. 40 seconds left. Drew. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a terrible move. Safety comes down. Just didn't see him. And Bryce Thornton's going to have a pick. And Max Drew's like, where did that guy come from? Just didn't see him. Kind of mick blended in with the other corner, as you can see. It just, you don't see him. You go underneath, it's picked off. And right when it looked like we might have something going to get some points before half. Oh, Simmons. Oh, that would have been huge. And now Florida has a chance to add points. Lagway is going to take this one. He will be brought down by Simmons at the 12. They still have a timeout left. 21 seconds, so they still have time here. They don't have to settle for three. Looking, he's going to roll out, and he is brought down. They'll say he gets out of bounds, so 14 seconds left, down to the two. Hand the ball off to Webb. Webb is going to get it for the touchdown. Simmons just couldn't bring him down. Just too much speed around the edge, and Florida... Takes advantage of the interception and goes into halftime with a 21-14 lead. So we're on upset alert, but you can see those rushing yards. I mean, I know sacks add to it. Negative 11. We just can't get the run game going. It's not like we've been sacked a bunch of times and you know, the run game's been solid. We just haven't been able to get the run game going. And we've made a change at quarterback. Tymar, the true freshman, is in the game. We're just trying to switch it up a little bit. See what he can do. Hand this off to Hill. Up the middle. That's like the best run of the game. Makes this a third and short. We need some protection. Over the middle. That's caught. Satania with the grab. Using the speed. Getting away from defenders. And Satania down to the 24. We'll see what this quarterback decision. I mean, this offense and this team is probably used to it by now. We make the uh, maybe rash decisions to change up quarterbacks, but Hill, and now the run game's working. Hill's got a first down, but he got to try something. I didn't really want to put Singleton in the game. Let's go with the true freshman and see what he brings to the table right now. I think we'll bring Drew back into this game. I just want to see a couple of drives to see how he works out. Third and goal, though. Here comes the blitz. Marr fires it quickly, and oh man, Anthony drops it, and it should have been a touchdown. That was a great throw under pressure from the freshman. We'll bring on this field goal unit. Kick is up. It is good. So we get some points here to start off halftime. It's 21-17. And here comes this Florida offense. 
Yeah, I mean, the run game has been their big time thing. Webb, not much there. Spence with the stop, and here's a third down and six. We gotta watch. We almost have to spy. Lagway is that's gonna be a nice hit there from Simmons. Falls incomplete. But yeah, I think we have to almost spy him the rest of the game. He has come up some big time runs. As look out, man, McCray again. Another sack. Third and fourteen. Mar back to throw over the middle. Caught. Oh, how is that not a first down? That was a fantastic throw, but we're going for it. We're going for this. I don't know how that wasn't a first, but Swain will have enough for a first down, so we won't have to worry about that. But, yeah, that's that was almost a kind of challenge to the spot. I thought he had the first down there. It's a blitz brought by Florida, but great job finding Luke Haas for the catch and a first down to the outside. He's looking pretty good. True freshman quarterback looking solid here. I've seen some good stuff in... You know, you know, garbage time. He's made some really solid throws, but right now looking solid. And it's getting help, obviously, by this run game. First and 10. Hill has some more running room. We've decided to block in the run game here in the second half, and it is working. Let's see if we can convert this third down, though. Mar underneath. Satania up the field and for the touchdown. I'm still committed to bringing back Max True, but Ty Mars making a little bit difficult decision. Two drives, 10 points, retake the lead here, 24-21, just about the end of the third quarter. You're probably thinking, why bring in Drew? I mean, just let the true freshman keep rolling. But I mean, uh, I know what Drew can do. It's so tough, he's so talented. Same thing with Singleton. You know, I, I don't want to go away from him because I feel like if I go away from him, hit him again in this game, it just, I mean, how do I bring him back? I almost have to go with the true freshman. I don't know. I got to go bring back Drew. It's just tough. It's so tough. It really is. And here he is. He is back. Defense does a great job getting the stop. But really, I think Swain with a solid run and a first down. What's different in this half, I think, depending what quarterback we have, it has been the run game. It is picked up. Oh, Hill's getting destroyed there. And it's going to be a flag regardless. That is going to be a holding call. But the run game has really been the key. It's picked up here in the second half and just made stuff easier for the quarterback. So a third and nine. And this is where your quarterback has to make a play. Steps up in the pocket. Drew takes off just short. But I think we go for this. Obviously, we're not kicking a 50-yard field goal. Not with the kicker we have. Swaim in the backfield, and he's going to be stuffed. Man, is that Kirby Collins? And that is a big-time play from this Florida defense. Keeps it at a three-point gain. That's a terrible throw by Lagway. Terrible throw. Third and eight. We're going to bring the heat. Fires, caught, and Briley brought down. That's one of those plays. Let's... Make him make the throw, and he did. First down, Florida. Now he's in a bit of a rhythm. Oh, man, plenty of room to run. Arliss Boardingham with the reception all the way down to around the 10, and Florida in business. Flag on the play. Lagway takes off. He'll slide down. I'm guessing this is going to be brought back, and it is. So a holding call will bring this. We only got six, less than six minutes left in this game. Florida trying to take the lead, but a big third down. Lagway looking in the pocket, just goes underneath to the back. It is tackled short, and they're just going to end up kicking this field goal here, but you never know. Say, kind of an angle-type kick. This is not easy. He missed one earlier. Can he miss another one here? Let's see. To tie this ball game up, kick is up, and it just sneaks in there. It's good. 20 Four apiece. Four minutes left in this game. Max Drew in this offense. What can you do for me? As Anthony around the edge, he will pick up close to a first down. It's a good drive starter. Three minutes left. Drew looking over the middle. Anthony again. Hey, when you need somebody to come through, go to Anthony or Lucas, really. They've been really your 
two biggest guys for sure. As Hill with the first down run on third down and inches. So continue to move the clock here. Really? All we need is a field goal. If we can get down there, give our field goal guy a chance. That's all we need. Field goal guy kicker. And that is caught. All right. Close to another first down. You need to let this clock roll a little bit. But we got third down in inches. Really, I could see Drew could probably run this. But we'll fire to the outside. Haas is going to be short. Timeout, Florida. We got to go for this. Fourth and two. Drew over the middle. And Wilkins with a big time catch. First down. Took the hit. Moved the chains. And to me right now, we're still not in field goal range. As Hill with the carry, Florida will call their last timeout. I still think we need a couple more yards. I'm being dead serious right now. We're letting this clock roll down. We're going to let it go down to the kicker. As Swain with a big run. Great cut. We're in field goal range now. So let's do one more run. Just hang on to the ball. Give this to Swain. And let this clock roll down to about two seconds. We'll call a timeout, and McPherson will be brought on. Can McPherson make this game-winning kick? And that kick is up, and it is good. And we escape once again. Wow. This team... Remains undebe undefeated, and somehow, I, I just don't know. We should have lost like three games this season, and somehow we pull it out. I think that was not a good performance. The offense was just no good. Mar really looked good, though. Five for six and a touchdown, so... I mean, we already have a quarterback controversy, so... I mean, it was a late addition last year, too, if you remember, in the recruiting class. And he looks solid. Running game was Swaim and Hill. Hill came on in the second half, and so did Swaim. That first half was absolutely abysmal. Um, but, man, we really do need Braylon Russell back. That's for sure. But offensively, today was a bit rough. Our offensive line got beat up. Second half, like I said, was a lot better. But really, I mean, this Florida team didn't put up much. I think they only had 200 and some yards of offense. Our defense played very, very well. And we just gave them more chances than, you know, they should have had. As we take a look, we just lost three guys this week. Trenton McCain. McCain uh, the tackle is gone to Bama. nawosu has gone to Clemson. And ebicady has gone to Texas Tech. So we lose out on two pass rushers and a four-star right tackle. Um... As I said last time, I believe some of these guys will be gone within a week or two. So there is three. That adds a lot of hours. So Luck instead could commit Bullocks as well. So I think that's a possibility next week. I mean, I'm hoping those three guys just straight commit. Schumann, like I said, we, we're plenty good on that one. We got a massive lead over Rutgers. I don't even think... I mean, I guess we could add some hours in there. Just do like a... Or schedule a visit. I don't know. I, I don't even think we have to schedule a visit. Just do the 10. That's fine. Just to kind of maintain the lead. Donald Brightwell, the four-star tackle. We got the lead over Oregon now. We have the setup for week 11 visit. So looking good there. Ukrapina have the lead. Looks like Tulane still doesn't have a visit scheduled. Just about to be in the top three. Jamison will have a visit over Texas Tech and TCU. So that is huge. I'd like to add the five there to just max that out hours-wise. Moses Chubb we have dropped. But now, this is why I was saying this last week, he's not yet even at his top five. But now since we have the hours, let's just send the house, and then we'll do, yeah, social media, and I believe DM the player. Let's just do DM the player as well. So we'll max that out. Hopefully we can jump over Tennessee right back. Hainsworth. That's not looking too good. I know we have a visit before Ohio State and Michigan, but it might not even get to that, honestly. The five-star free safety, David Pilgrim, have the lead. I would love to schedule a visit, so I don't care. I know it's going to be, you know, let's do a Week 12 visit. I don't know if it'll even... Honestly, we'll see. Does it get to that? I don't know. But we have enough hours we can max him out as well. Let's take that off. Uh, let's do a hard sell. 
We know all of his uh, positive motivations there, so we'll do that. And add just a GM to the player, so that'll max him out there. Got the visit, still have the lead. Dwayne Bolin, the elusive back, a three-star, but still I'm, I'm good adding backs here. Uh, let's do just to send the house. Get everything we can out of that one. Leon, the four-star free safety. We do have the lead. Uh, probably could just send the house, honestly. Or do cat. Well, I guess we'll do contact friends and family. Now, Eric Iglesias. Let's see. Scout wise, you can see 89 speed, 90 agility. I don't know. I, I feel like, yeah, just take him off. Skylar Hargrave. He's another kind of elusive back. Let's figure out what he is. Let's finish the scouting. 88 speed, 89 acceleration. Probably could just take him off, too. I don't know. Yeah, let's just take him off. All right, we found a couple more guys to add to the board since we have ours. Jake Ferkser, a three-star left tackle. Uh, he right now has the seventh on the list. Uh, he's reached his top eight, obviously, but let's take a look. Mm, I don't like the 79 strength. Yeah, that 79 strength is not really doing anything for me. Even the blocking, not the greatest. I think we could probably remove him. Shaden Fayed. Right now, number five. He is from Little Rock, Arkansas. LSU's the top at the moment. He is a four-star right guard, and he is a gem. 90 street. There, there you go. 93 strength. Run block finesse at an 81. Let's offer him a scholarship. He's about to reach the top five. So if we could send the house, I think we should be good there and see if we can overcome LSU. Uh, so we'll max that out at 75. But yeah, LSU has a really good lead. So that's going to be tough. Jimmy Polanco, he is a scrambling style of quarterback. Four star, 94 throw power. He is a gem as well. 88 speed, 80 medium accuracy, 85 short. Let's offer him a scholarship. I'm all about competition at the quarterback position. You know that for sure. So, we only have 25 hours left. Let's see with, with uh, Whipple, who's another quarterback. He's an improviser. He is a, obviously not a gem, a bust. So, we could probably take him off the board. That leaves us, we've freed up some 30 hours here. So, for Polanco, he's about to reach the top five. But I think if we send the house or contact friends and family, you can see how close it is from three to eight. I think we should be able to get into the top five for sure. So let's just do that. That'll work. I think we'll get moving to the top five enough to where we can get, see if we can get close to Bama or LSU there who are recruiting them. As for the college football playoff, here you go. So we're number one. Clemson two, USC three, Baylor is four. You got Texas A&M at five taking on UAB. You got the six being Stanford taking on Kansas State at the moment. Seven, Ohio State taking on number 10, Texas. And number eight, Florida State taking on number nine, Oregon. We are number one. We have moved up in the rankings. Wow, I thought we were going to be two. We are one. That is huge. That is big. That is a lot. I mean, Texas, how are, still, I'm going to say this every time. How is Texas? They're still unbeaten. How are they 10? I don't understand. Just wanted to take a look quick at the Heisman watch. I wasn't sure if Anthony would be in here, but he is not. Marcel Reed right now, I believe, in the uh, the leaderboard position to win the Heisman. But this can always change. Obviously, still have plenty of games left to switch things up and obviously have the playoff and everything. But let's take a look at the SEC conference standings. We are one. Texas is two. Texas A&M right there at three, all undefeated. Obviously, this year we went back to kind of the non-divisions. So right now, we are obviously in line. But man, one loss could kill you. It really could. We're trying to reach that SEC championship game and win an SEC championship, which we've never done. Um, that's, that's goal one. And then obviously win a national championship, which we almost did last year. But obviously, we want to win that SEC championship. So we'll have South Carolina on the road coming up next. They're 4-4, four 3-3 and four, three and three in the SEC. But you never know, the SEC games... Could be tough, but hopefully we can get the job done. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. Once again, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.